Well, when I started a YouTube channel, I knew you're always going to come across people that disagree with you, of course, and you're going to have people that unfortunately can be a bit nasty online. I haven't really experienced that, but I've certainly got someone that's taken an issue with one of my videos, and I'm going to go over. I've, I, I don't, don't know why I feel like I have to do this, but I'm going to justify exactly what happened on the driving lesson. And you can formulate your own opinion on whether I was in the wrong or whether we did everything correctly. So the driving lesson, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link in the comments. And the driving lesson involved a couple of incidents on roundabouts where we were overtaken on the left. And I put a short video on just to help people to understand when on a driving test you would fail and get serious fault for being overtaken on the left and when you wouldn't. Now the first one, this lad is a lad called Ruben. I've taken him on recently. This was his first driving lesson. He's a very, very competent driver. He drives tractors. He's driven on private land for a long time. From the moment of driving him away from, or him driving me away from his house, can tell he can already drive. You can tell, already drive. So we started doing some junctions. He's fine. Town centre, it's fine. So we started going on to faster flowing roads and roundabouts, which for a first lesson is very unusual. Now the first roundabout we were just practicing turning around and the first one he tried when he exits it's very clear to the left and he doesn't move over to the left he stays in the right hand lane and you can see his speed is very very slow and he's overtaken on the left by a red car now the red car should not overtake on the left i don't care if you're going to tell me that they should and they were right to they should not overtake on the left but they do. Now, I had to explain to my learner at that point that he, that would have failed his driving test. And the reason is, whilst that person shouldn't do what they were doing, we have essentially caused that by being very slow in the right-hand lane and not displaying any intention to come back over to the left-hand lane. And so we've essentially caused that situation. That's why we would fail our driving test for position normal driving, okay? So our goal, of course, at the next roundabout was to turn around and if it's safe to, to exit into the left hand lane. Now, I do love hearing comments from people that aren't driving instructors telling me how driving lessons should work. Uh, I'm not going to entertain those sorts of comments because I don't need to explain to a non-driving instructor like Luke, whatever your name is, we call you Luxter, um, as to how a driving lesson works. So thanks ever so much for the comments. As we come round, now, the first thing Luxter decided to point out was that at 1.36, we could and should have moved across to the left-hand lane, okay? Now, I'm going to play that clip up until the point that he's talking about, or he or she, I assume you're he. Um, and I agree, a very experienced driver probably would move across to the left at that point. Ruben's on his first driving lesson, and I have no need to force him to come across to the left because there is no requirement to exit into the left hand lane of, a, of a, a roundabout as you exit. You can exit as we do into the right hand lane if you feel it is safer. And Ruben on his first lesson has decided that all by himself and made a fantastic decision not to move across. I actually cannot believe people still don't understand this about dash cams. You are using a wide angle lens. This means that things will appear much further away than they actually are in real life. 21 years of driving, um, I've got all my HGV licenses, I've driven in many different countries, despite the assumption that I haven't, from luck luck. And I probably would have moved across in front of that Land Rover, I'd have put the gas on heavy and got in front of him. But Ruben made a really good decision not to. Now at that point, we instruct him to get the gas on really heavy and keep the left signal displayed. This is the bit that Luxter really took offence to for some reason and said at 1.42, the moment we realised we were about to be passing the inside, we should have cancelled the left signal. Now, genuinely, no, we should not. I don't know where you're getting this from. I don't understand your reasoning. It's nonsense. You are talking a load of waffle. By displaying the left signal, you are saying, do not pass me on the left. I am going to move across to the left when I feel it is safe to, okay? 
the Range Rover waits for about two seconds and decides, nah, not up for that, and overtakes us on the left with a left signal applied, okay? There's no requirement for us to cancel the left signal, it's nonsense. Now, if you, Luxter, and other people look at that and think that us displaying a left signal is the bigger problem than the Range Rover overtaking us on the left, you are part of the problem, okay? The problem is overtaking on the left, which the Range Rover does. There is no requirement to do it, no patience shown whatsoever, no acknowledgement you're following a learner vehicle and decide to overtake a vehicle on the left that's displaying the left signal. If there was a police car in the vicinity, we would not have been pulled over for displaying the left signal. It's absolute nonsense. The, the police would have pulled over the Range Rover for overtaking on the left. You don't do it. And not once, Luxter, did you pick up the fact that the Range Rover is wrong to overtake us on the left. Not once, because I'm guessing to you, that's not a problem. We were the problem, apparently, in your eyes. And this is why, you know, sometimes when we're out on the roads, we meet people that you can tell they just don't like learner drivers. Some people don't like driving instructors, and I can tell the type of person you are. But anyway, absolute nonsense you're waffling on about. I've never really felt the need to reply to a comment with a video and justify what I'm doing on a lesson and what is happening in real life. But anyone watching this, if you see us with the left signal as a problem, rather than the Range Rover overtaking on the left, get a grip, get off my channel, because we ain't gonna get on very well, okay? I'm here to teach people proper driving, proper attitudes, Overtaking on the left is one I will be doing a video on for driving basics coming up because it's one of my pet hates. It displays an incredibly poor attitude. Um, be really interesting to get people's views on this. You know, please do let me know in the comments. Do you see me and my learner as the problem for keeping the left signal applied? Or was the bigger problem the Range Rover that decided to overtake us on the left? You decide. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for thanks for watching, Luxter. Hope you're watching.